Good morning, everybody. Uh, Monday, April 12th, start of a new, another new week. The year just kind of is chipping away at this year. Um, that was really fun yesterday, visiting with Veronique um, Sasson. Uh, it's th this whole uh, year plus now has been quite a challenge uh, <laughs> to me because um, I haven't written down one piece of chords or anything for anything I've played. So it's been just a challenge digging back into the memory banks and finding, trying to play songs that I haven't played for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and, uh, and do some service to them. Uh, I, I'm surprised sometimes what I do remember and then I wonder why the hell do I remember all of this stuff? Because <laughs> I've got other stuff I have to be thinking about. Um, but uh, but I really enjoy it so much. It's a it's a real challenge. So um, I'm getting ready now to uh, I'm going to put on my dress T-shirt. This is my work T-shirt. I'll put on my my show T-shirt. Um, and going to head off to uh, Henson Studios to do our last filming for the immediate family documentary film. So this is going to be fun today. They're doing some pickup stuff, so I'm taking my old Peace Love bass with me because they want to do some shots, um, primarily instrument and hand shots, but of songs that were from the 70 to 75 period, and that would have been the primary bass for that period because uh, that was I did everything with that before we built Frankenstein. Uh, so the really early 70s would all be on that. So I'm going to take that with me today and do some shots with that. And then we are setting up our round table. And we're going to probably spend about three hours sitting at a table telling stories. And then they'll edit it down into things that are for public consumption. <laughs> Not <laughs> Some of it may end up on the cutting room floor. Uh, that'll be the B-roll of some kind. But um, so I'm going to get off and, and go do that just got the pups outside and have their breakfast ready so I'll feed them when I'm done and have a couple of books to drop at the post office on my way to the studio and then um, and then tomorrow's the live stream and we're going to be recording at Steve Postel's house like I've said and I'm going to set up there and I'll get the guys to come up and say hello to all the clubhouse members uh, once we're up and running um, so, but today I kind of thought, I've talked about this guy a bunch of times and I've shown off some product of his and I thought I would just visit, you know, it, it's really great when the sidemen go off and, and do their own albums. It's, uh, they don't get lots of recognition, it's not a big push ever is put behind them, but, uh, you know, one of my favorite drummers to play with is the great Herman Matthews. Now, Herman Matthews and I, I think, first played together on a, a Richard Marks album. And um, I just, man, the minute he, he hit his first backbeat, I just went, oh, dude, man, this cat's, this cat's great. So he ended up doing a, uh, a solo album back in 2007, I believe, and it's called Home at Last. And um, glasses come off, CP shows up. Um, so I, there was a few different rhythm sections I played with him because he works with a lot of different people. And I ended up doing a couple of the tracks on the album. And uh, the first one I'm going to is, is called kind of a very gospely feeling song called We Are Heaven. And it's uh, and the band on this is Dean Parks and Doug Pettibone on this Ned Albright on Wurlitzer who co-produced the album with um, with Herman and Ivan Neville on uh, organ and the backgrounds on this were I think both uh, Teresa James and uh, Gia Kimbati and Kim Yarborough. Um, Herman's worked with a ton. I mean, if you put Wikipedia. Herman pull up his stuff. He's done a lot. He's been around a long time. Play uh, when Garibaldi was um, out of action with Tower of Power. Uh, Herman was the go-to drummer to fill in uh, the Tower of Power. He's working with a band called East Bay Soul. Uh, he was on the road for years with Tom Jones, uh, Kenny Loggins, and Teresa James. Um, I mean, he, he's like a 
one of the real call guys plus um he's just a great hang now when it comes to touring that's what you want you might have the most gifted drummer musician singer in the world if they're a total pant load to be around it doesn't matter you want people that you can you can be with because you are in confined quarters for lengths of time and you want to be able to get along with these people that you're with so herman is one of those people uh, he's just a, a great cat so i'm going to do this one and also this is uh, if you're just going god that name sounds familiar just remember it's little herman's peanut brittle he uh gone he has gone into the manufacturing of peanut brittle which is probably if you like peanut brittle this is the best peanut brittle you'll ever have I, it's unbelievable um i love it and we'd always like when we'd be doing sessions um like the, the when we were doing there's a wonderful artist i'll get i'll do her music to cat beach um who was out here and then was in Nashville for many years and is now down in Florida when we were doing her sessions out here with with, with Ned Albright at his studio and Herman and, and Dean Parks and I were the band. Um, he brought his peanut brittle and um, my head exploded. So if you have a, 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 a any kind of a desire for peanut brittle at some point, um, little Herman's brittle is is unbelievable i'll show you that again when we're done so but here's um we are heaven this is herman on drums and singing and then and the band that i said dean parks doug pettibone um, ned albright ivan neville and myself i turn to hope and it's herman singing a little past quarter to three i said it's time and shook my head she agreed What the people say What the people say may be true Paid no attention to the man behind the curtain cause It's just me and you We are heaven Close to heaven
that's a little emotional kind of gospel flavored thing. And here's the other side of Herman. This is called A Cup of Sugar. Please don't. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Hold on, this is it's a crap ad running here. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy. I'm going back to the top of the tune. Sorry. That's Herman. That is Herman. Uh, and he can get down so funky. Just crazy funky. So um, if you uh, get a chance, check out the rest of his album. He's got a bunch of great songs. Again, Home at Last. Don't put my hand on Herman's face there. Sweetheart of a Cat, too. And don't forget Little Herman's Brittle. That's oh, unbelievable. Um, back is a little bit better today, not much. Um, sitting here is fine when I stand up at this point. It's a procedure. And it's just that weird thing. I mean, I'm doing tons of grunt work all day long, and I don't know what the hell happened. You know, it's one of those things, like I said yesterday, I, I remember one time digging out a massive tree root, uh, had to take this tree down 
and dug a hole about four feet deep and cut out all the things and lifted the entire root ball out of the ground. It was covered in mud and just did this whole thing and was so proud of myself. Came in, took a shower, and uh, I think dropped a Q-tip or something, bent over to get the Q-tip and back went. <laughs> I mean, it's like, there's just no rhyme or reason for why this stuff happens. And I'm one of those people, boy, we know, and I'm lifting, I am bent knees, you know, they can do it all right, I know how to do it, but sometimes your your body just says, no, nah, you might think you know everything, but I'm going to mess with you, and there you are. So, uh, uh, it'll be fine, I'm just, uh, today's just going to be a whole lot of hanging out and uh, talking and stuff, so I won't be doing anything too crazy, but there was some work I had to finish in the yard last night, so I kind of went out there. I shouldn't have done it, but I, I needed to do it. And because it's a busy week ahead and I wanted to get the stuff done. Um, so I paid a little of the price for that last night, but I took some Advils and, um, and here we are. So I am going to get going now and prepare myself, put on my dress t-shirt. And so I look really snappy for the uh, filming. And um, I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to post yet, but I'll post something in the morning. And uh, before I go to Postels, and we cut our track, and I do my live stream. So it's crazy time. I'm wishing everybody all the very best. Um, just stay safe. Um, so all I can say is just stay safe, and thank you to all of the... Uh, they're not even frontline people at this point. I mean, they are the people that are really doing everything they can to maintain lives in society on a daily basis and I can't thank you enough every day for for especially some of the heroics that have taken place during this past year are really astounding. Uh, I, I know if I was going to use that term I know the kind of people I would use that term with uh, in the same way there are certain people I've seen where people banter around the word oh he's a genius he's a genius nah not a genius you know maybe a good songwriter good player not a genius but then a genius pops along and you go, that's why they invented that word. It's that person. So I'm going to get going and I will see everybody tomorrow. And don't forget live stream tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, I'll try to corral and, and rustle up the, uh, the crazy members of the band and have them at least drop in and say hi to everybody. So we'll see you then. So take good care till then and talk to you then. Bye bye.